Yeah, Shalom. First, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. The bonus for the Apostle Nell is a great moonstone. Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, Wahakdash, Raka, Braktham. To the elect man. This is a, just a quick uh, impromptu. I'm at work at the moment, so I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible. Um, yeah, I was just thinking about the the fact that the Apostle um, coined this year, um, Year of Prophecy. And, um, you know, a lot of. Um, as as we get closer to the Lord's return, man, more and more prophecies are being fulfilled. Uh, you know, we see the mark of the beast really just amped up 2016, 2017. More articles are coming out and more, more news about the mark of the beast, you know, which is the RFID chip being pushed out there. You know, um, a lot more developments between, uh, for example, Russia and its allies. Uh, a lot more developments in the Middle East. You know, um, different laws being passed. So, yeah, you know, prophecy is being fulfilled man and um that's good because that well we're out here to to basically um bring out our news man because scriptures say that that um it's, it's about the spirit of prophecy man okay that's 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 what that's what um Yahusha is man the spirit of Yahusha. that's what it is so i just want to get into the scripture because this is the times that we're coming in man this is um jeremiah chapter 30 verse 4 and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Because we're not going into a time of peace yet. The peace is going to come after when we're in the kingdom. Now we're in a time of war, and we're going into the culmination, the crescendo of that war. Okay, which is going to be those ICBM missiles, uh, those nukes being shot over to America, to Babylon, right? And, uh, you know, World War Three, man. Ask and the chariots, man. Char the chariots of salvation, which are so-called UFOs, coming in and, and saving the elect out of that, man. It says, "Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travel with child, right?" So it says, "Have you ever seen a man that's pregnant, right?" It says, "Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travel, and all faces are turned into paleness, man? Because there's going to be famines, okay? People are going to be hungry. There's going to be diseases. People are going to be sick." People are going to be afraid. People are going to get shot up, you know, by these martial law troops and each other, stabbed up. So, hey, it's going to be a rough time, man. Okay, it's going to be a fucked up time, man. All these people that are walking around thinking that they can, um, you know, just go about their daily lives as normal for, for, for as long as they live. But we're not in that time, man. Okay, we're coming into the end, end, end of the end, man, right now. Okay? It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it now who that's who's that talking about it's referring to jacob our forefather whose name was changed to israel it's talking about you negroes hispanics and native americans man and those that descend through that through that line man okay it says it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it and he that is talking about there is the elect the elect are going to be saved out of that trouble man because they, they trust they're going to trust in yahweh bashim yahushai the name of their most tiny son. And uh, it says, the scriptures say, um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and are safe. So, you know, roughly paraphrasing, I believe, I don't know if I hear it on the marks in Proverbs. But, hey, that's what it is, man. We're going to trust in the Lord. Lord willing, we're, uh, us men, you know, that are pushing this word to be of the elect. The men of great Musa and the ones that are teaching Yahweh Shah's doctrine, as the apostles and elders have taught us. Okay? So that's what it is. Right? Now, let me quickly jump from there. So that's talking about Jacob's trouble, which is shortly going to come, man. Okay, let me get to... Uh, let me go to 2nd Ezra chapter 15. Where are we at now? 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right? Woe meaning destruction. That's what's coming upon the world, man. It says, for the sword... And their destruction draweth nigh. Nah, it's coming soon, man. It's coming close. Okay, we're in that time. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. So people are going to be... Wait, it's going to be race wars, man. People are going to be going against each other. Hey, think about it. If, there, if there's no food out there, right? And then, you know, you've got a guy and he's, he's got his family and his child's starving. Okay, he's starving. He ain't going to be thinking about no laws in that day, man. He ain't going to be thinking about no coppers beating her down on his door. Okay, it's like it's gonna be like that film, um, that film, uh, The Purge. You know, where it's just like lawless for a night. It's gonna, it's gonna be like that in that time, man. Okay, you're gonna get the martial law troops laying a smackdown on people, of course. 
But hey, man, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a riotous time, man. Okay, just as we saw in the London riots, people just going all around. People were you know, everyday civilians were afraid to go out on the streets and so what, you know. Going into a time much worse than any of that, man. That's all. All of that was just part of the Hegelian dialect, man. That's all just to to test things out, test test the the, the goyim out, man. That's what it's, that's what it was for. Uh, for there shall be sedition amongst men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able now it's going to be martial law troops man okay bordering off the major cities okay like London being an example of one you've got the M25 that circles around the, all of London you've got different entry points and exit points the, ar the army can just easily just lock that off, man. People are going to be desiring to go into cities. They're not going to be able to go to, into cities, man. Okay. It says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Things are going to get blown up, man. Things are going to get fucked up. Things are going to get really bad, man. And it says, men shall be afraid. It, it is going to be a time of fear. See, that right now, these people ain't afraid. Because, you know, right now, we're putting out this vibration out there telling people what's going to happen, okay? But, you know, uh, over, even though there's war over there and prophecy being filled over there in the Middle East, it ain't really touched, uh, you know, places like, uh, you know, certain places in America. Certain places in America still getting fucked. Jake is still getting uh, fucked up. It ain't really touched places like London and so on and so forth, France. You know, you've got these little terrorist attacks, so-called terrorist attacks, but really it's not really going down like that yet, man. But men are going to be afraid, man. We're coming into that time of fear, man. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, right? But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's exactly what I was just saying before. So ultimately, people are going to be going around and just doing all types of madness, man, to each other, man. It's going to be, it's going to be a fucked up time. Okay. Now, um, let me round it up with this. Uh... Revelation 12 verse 12 That's right It's Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 Therefore rejoice ye heavens And ye that dwell in them That's talking about the Israelites Right Specifically the elect It's woe to the inhabitants of the earth And of the sea Right For the devil is come down onto you Who's that? Who are you talking about? The devil Talking about the, 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 the so-called white man man And particularly In this case It's talking about The elites and their power structure man Okay, coming down, the elites of Edom, basically coming down, man, uh, and uh, you know using their military might to start fucking um, fucking Jake up, man. It says, for the devil is come down onto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So hey, that's what it is, man. We 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 we're, we're coming to the end now. There's only a short time left. Even these devils know that. Okay, so that's why they're trying to push their agenda of the new world, their new world order. Okay, which they're not gonna they're not gonna succeed, as pursuing to Job 20, 20th chapter. Okay, in fact, let me get that. Since I said that, right? So they're not gonna succeed, man. They're not gonna be able to do that, man. The Lord's gonna basically um, come with his chariots, man. He's gonna save the elect out of it, man. Okay, he's gonna fucking lay the smack down on this on this on this kingdom, and take all the crowns, man. He's gonna be he's gonna be rightfully. He he is the king of kings, man. Right. This is this is Job chapter twenty verse twenty two. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. <laughs> Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, right? When he's trying to, when he just thinks he's about to get the new world order in, he's got his chip and all that out there. Right when he thinks he's got the, when he finally thinks that he's got the blessing, when he finally thinks that he's fraughted the Most High's prophecies, that he's become like the Most High, when he finally thinks that, when he's about to do that, it says when he's about to fill his belly, right? God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, man. Hey, that's beautiful. So the, hey, that, that should give us comfort because Yahweh Shemel Shai has got our back, man. Okay, as long as we keep believing, have faith, pray, and and stay in His truth. Then, uh, you know, scripture's talking about beheadings, talking about being a martyr for Yahweh Shai. You know, these are things that, you know, we've got to meditate on. Uh, you know, some brothers are going to have to go through that, some brothers are going to get beamed up, some are going to get spiritual powers. You know, we're not, not exactly sure how it's going to go down, but we know that it's going to go down, man, according to prophecy, you know. So, you know, stay strong, keep praying. All praise to Yahweh Shai and double honor to the apostles and elders.
שלום.